Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Adam Kahlberg. Today we're gonna to be having a look at the Dow Jones Index. Now we're gonna be having a look at the Dow Jones from a little bit of a different perspective, and that's one of more of a long-term perspective, just to see some interesting price action that's been happening over the last couple months. So as we know, the Dow Jones is one of the leading US indices and has a much stronger emphasis on commodities and industry manufacturing than things such as the Russell Index or the NASDAQ. As stated, the inflationary pressures have been increasing and has drawn the potential for a recession to enter the market in the not too distant future, including some analysts and big investment bankers predicting that the recession may come and be quite savage. However, prior to this, what we can see having, by having a look at the chart especially at the monthly chart, is some very interesting price action. So as stated, we're going back quite a far way just to get a good idea of what's been going on. And we're just gonna make this a little bit bigger. And guys, just remember, this is on the monthly chart. Now it's important to know that we are not quite finished October yet. There's still about another week to go. But for the moment, what we can see is that we've got a very big green candle here. And it's almost the exact same size as the previous red candle, if not slightly bigger, although it hasn't reached the wick. This is an exceptionally important sign because what it shows is that potentially we've reached a low and that all this selling volume that it has existed, and that is selling that's probably gone back all the way up from this run up from COVID, or there's been all this supply, has actually been absorbed pretty well um, in this recent month. And we've been able to push back above. Now the secondary point about this um, monthly candle is that if we have a look going back almost 30 years, the occasions where the monthly has dropped below the 200 period, um, or the 50 period average rather, is extremely low. In fact, it's only happened going back once, twice here. We had a little bit, um, that was in the dot-com bubble. During the GFC, we had a drop. Um, we touched it in uh, 2010 as we were recovering, um, touched it again, and also during COVID. But each time, pretty convincingly, and specifically with regards to the pandemic, we're able to bounce back pretty quickly. And here we can see that we've almost had an immediate rejection of this 200, um, oh, sorry, this 50 month moving average. And as I said, that's a really important sign and one um, that may indicate that we are at the bottom. In addition, if we have a look at where we reversed, it's right on, let's just change that color to make it a bit more visible. It's right on this point here, which is that long-term support and this, or long-term resistance rather, and this high acted from about Jan 2018, or um, all the way, for about two years, it acted as that long-term resistance. Um, and then once it reached there, it uh, took a year to then go back over and get it again. But as we can see, a really important level has just been reversed. And especially if we can close October at this kind of level, it's gonna be a very positive signal that a reversal may be um, coming soon or that we have reached the bottom. Just as we have a look at the weekly chart, just to get a bit more confirmation, as we can see, we've obviously got um, this nice pattern here. Um, although it's not as convincing as the monthly, um, the other concern is that perhaps we are going to bounce off this 50 week moving average. Although positively, we've actually also, um, we haven't been able to drop below this 200 week moving average, which again is a really positive sign. And similar to the monthly average is often very um, difficult to break through. But just important to remember that we've had a really solid signal on that on the monthly chart. We do want to wait for some more confirmation and potentially some signs from the Fed and other economic factors, because we do know that inflation is running rampant still, and the Fed has made it their mission to get this under control. There you go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the analysis and good luck trading.